Alright, so here we're going to take a quick look at the multiplication rule. If you're having some trouble with it, this should hopefully clear it up for you. Uh, you want to use the multiplication rule when you have uh, two functions multiplying each other. So here we have g of x equals the square root of x times the sine of x. So I'm going to start by simply rewriting that square root of x. It'll be much easier if we think of that as x to the one half times sine of x. And so hopefully you can see that this equation, this function, actually has two parts. It has x to the one half and it has sine of x. So we sort of have our first part over here and our second part. Both of those are functions and they're multiplying each other so we have to use the, pa the multiplication rule. So to start that off we're going to be taking a look at the derivative here, g prime at x equals the way you start the multiplication rule is you take the first and you take the derivative of it. So we'll have the power rule here, one-half x, and then one-half minus one is negative one-half, times the first, or times the second, sorry, which is sine x. So we have the derivative of the first times the second, plus the derivative of the second now, which is sine of x. Uh, derivative of sine of x, which gives you cosine of x, times the first, x to the one-half. So just to highlight what we did over here, I'll put it on the side, g prime at x. We took the first term, which was x to the one-half, and we took that, and we took the derivative of it. So I'll put that as a prime, times the second one, sine x and we added that to the derivative of the second one so sine x prime times the first one x to the one half and that gave us this first step over here um, there's quite a bit that can be simplified here I believe so g prime at x equals I'm going to turn this back, the first term back into a square root and actually a fraction, so that will be 1 over 2 square roots of x. Actually, I could do more. The sine x would go on top, wouldn't it? So we'll erase that and put sine x on the top. Plus, now the second one is going to be square root of x. Put that in front of the cosine of x. And it's an addition problem. We can probably convert this into one fraction. So we need a 2 square root of x as our denominator. So we'll multiply this one by 2 square root of x over 2 square root of x um, to turn that into one fraction. So once we do that, we'll have sine of x plus, let's see, the square root of x here and the square root of x here will turn into x. So that will be 2x cosine of x over the denominator 2 square roots of x. And I believe that is as simplified as you can go on that one. So g of x, g prime of x equals that right there. I hope that helps you clarify any troubles you may have had with the multiplication rule for taking the derivative of a function.